Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. From the beginning, this level up promo has gotten tons of criticism. Too many games, too much to do. It's July and I understand all of that. But what I'm going to show you right now is some facts because people are starting to do this promo and I think a lot of people are actually grinding the games and objectives to upgrade these level up cards. And I'm going to take you through two different reasons why I believe that is happening. And if you have not started to do some of this grind, it might be worth starting. Whether you're a gameplay grinder or you just like the menus there are grinds now in both areas that i think are actually worth it so we're going to take a look a lot today in the video about level up these cards these prices and how people are actually doing the games guys all right if you're enjoying the videos on the channel drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new let's start with yesterday's content because there's some really interesting things to talk about as a part of yesterday's released SBCs. First of all, I forgot to mention this in yesterday's video, completely spaced it. The 93 plus, the best risky pack or player pick, I guess, that we have in this game right now, returned yesterday. 88 in a 90 rated squad. Tots cards and that high rated fodder had yet another spike in prices on that market are going up even further. I'm going to get this done, of course, through the awesome menu crafting grind that we have right now after EA released more upgrades and another crafting upgrade segment now there is a player sbc that's tied to this teji sovereigneer the 92 yeah it doesn't look that great even the 94 some people say doesn't look that amazing but this objective guys and the packs inside of it are fantastic if you don't like the gameplay grind right now this is the grind for you and i'm going to take you guys through why it's so good so you go to milestones and i guess we learned yesterday how ea are going to add additional level up players into objectives if they're going to drop them separately through sbcs or objectives they'll just give them their own tab and they won't be inside of the level up your game the big time objective with all the players in it so the savernier objective of course is just like comma vinga that we had last week not on the same level but it's all done through in SBC and look at the packs that you get inside of this really doing this objective it's more for the packs than the card you get an 83 triple a double 84 a triple 84 you get an 85 3 and then the tots and the shapeshifters player pack at the end I mean the tots pack in its own self is very in demand as tots card prices do continue to rise and then at the very end you get a pretty solid 94 rated five star five star Savernier who can play in the midfield very well rounded great dribbling great passing and you know usable in the other areas not a bad card but those packs along the way are really good but guys that's not even the best thing the best part about this is if you're grinding upgrade packs on this game or if you even just want to save some upgrade packs for maybe a bit better of a team two of level up or maybe even for footies you're looking ahead for that way down the line if this promo really isn't for you this upgrade pack right here is phenomenal and the reason is ea lowered the requirements from the last crafting upgrade the shapeshifters crafting upgrade i think required nine players nine gold this only requires six and the pack that you get back you get three players back so you're turning in six players to get three back that is an absolutely incredible return like that is 50 percent of the players you're getting back come back to you 80 plus as well like if you turn in 675 rated common golds you're getting three 80 plus players back that is phenomenal okay like that is one of the best upgrade craft grinds we have had on this game the entire year so i don't want to overlook that because that is super duper good and the soaring silver upgrade as well like it's is it really even worth doing this i mean if you have the bronzes and silvers in the club you could do that um but this is like super easy to do with only requiring six golds now gold prices are of course i believe back up let me double check this um i was thinking that they were going to be back up a little bit yeah so they're still about 650 to 700 um i mean that's actually nope they're about 750 still as they were which makes sense man because that pack is unbelievable for the crafting grind right now now you might be like nate why would i want to do those right now because there's not a lot to craft well we'll talk about that with a little bit later kind of looking forward into what could drop today on this game but the premise of the video today what i want to talk about here for a second is the facts of why people are doing these level up cards guys i want to take you through some of the reasons uh that we can see this level up promo yes it looked like an l right away but why this concept and why this kind of setup of play to upgrade really has a lot of potential in fifa and we talked about it at the beginning right if they release this sort of promo at the beginning of ultimate team this next year in eafc 24 it would absolutely bang right of course we all agree on that sort of thing that it should be dropped towards the beginning of the year because right now it's just kind of like 
yeah, you know, too much to grind. But here's what I want to show you guys with these players. Here is the proof that basically almost everyone, I even started grinding Raheem Sterling and um, the, uh, what did I have in the team with him? I had Corona with him in the team because I just wanted to start to get some stuff done. There's two reasons right now that show almost everybody is doing this on the game right now. And here's reason number one. Take a look at some of these players on Footbin and the number of games played that they have. Now, I believe Footbin's going to update these again today on Monday. I think they get updated daily this count. Edison Cavani has 53,000 games played. I think he's the most used player out of the entire level up team. Guys, 53,000 games in three days, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That is unbelievable. The amount of games that people have played with this card in such a short time span. Let's compare that to one of the more popular cards that was released last week in Shapeshifters Team 3. This Kyle Walker has been out in packs for a week. He was in the mini release. He only has 58,000 games played and he's been out in packs for uh, a week now and Edison Cavani has been in packs for three days and he already has almost as many games as Kyle Walker. That's crazy. Now you're like, ah, Nate, that's a low tier card. What about the top tier? Alfonso Davies, one of the most grindable middle to high tier cards right now. He's 700K. He's dropped off a ton. 14,700 games played for Alfonso Davies in three days. Hugo Lloris, who has the most in-game stats of any card in this game, I do believe. Um, he surpassed Milinkovic Savage for that, I believe, or some or Vieira, whoever it was. He's got the most in-games of any card in FIFA. He only has 16,000 games played. Um, again, in after being in packs for more than a week uh, since he's been releasing this game. Alfonso Davies, three days, almost 15,000 games. Hugo Lloris, 16,500 games, being in packs for like 10 days now. So, that just shows you off the bat that there are a lot of people grinding upgrades in these cards. And for the Cavani, I get it. That's a premium card you're getting for Cavani. I think Vlahovic has a pretty high uh, number of games as well as he gets a re really nice 95 rated premium card there too. 16,000 games played for him. But if you take a look through the rest of this team, there's a lot of these players in here that have lots of games played. And that's reason number one, guys. You take a look at the market for reason number two, and that is the prices are dropping off like crazy. It is crazy to actually look right now. Kevin De Bruyne level up, who was extinct at 15 million coins, is now on the market at 10.3 mil. Guys, people care about these cards like crazy, man. They are playing with these guys. They are using them. And when they see the prices start to drop, it causes these crazy panic sells because everybody knows that these players are going to drop in value, right? They're getting packed every day. And once you get the upgraded card, the lower rated version basically becomes unusable to you. And as that number grows throughout this week, these prices have continually dropped over the weekend. I mean, these prices have just dropped, dropped, dropped. But get a look at KDB. He's 10.7 mil right now. I would be not surprised if KDB goes back to like 12, 13, mil here today on Monday. I do expect some of these level up cards to rise. Watch uh, Renato Sanchez's price yesterday, right? He was 10 million coins heading into Sunday, I believe. Where was he at? 9.9 .9 mil. Look at this absolute cliff, man. It's like people start to sell and the price drops down and then everybody starts to panic because they're like, oh my goodness, I'm working on the Renato games right now. I don't want to lose a lot of coins. And a lot of the other cards previously, like Davies, like Cavani, have dropped off a ton. So you have this couple hours of panic selling. He goes to 5.8 mil. He rose all the way back to 7 million coins and he's about 6.2 right now. The same thing happened yesterday with Davies, with Enzo, and with um, Timo Werner as well. I think it was actually Alfonso Davies who had a really crazy drop off yesterday too. He uh, he went from 1.4 million coins all the way to 660, went back to 800k and is now at 700,000 coins again. Guys, these that's reason number two. These guys are in demand and that just goes to show that people are panic selling these cards when they start to drop because they're like, wow, I got to get it out of my club before the price drops while I'm still doing this objective. Oh my gosh, KDB is under 10 mil. That is crazy, man. I seriously think that this card is rare enough He's going to go back up to like 11 or 12 mil. Like this guy being 9 mil, is, wow, bro. If I had 9 mil, I would be thinking about buying that. But regardless of that point there, there's people doing these objectives, right? And it's okay to be like, nah, Nate, I don't want to grind it. It is the content that we have this week. And I think that the concept we can all agree on is really, really sick. But that's kind of just the facts. Honestly, EA has really got us here with this promo. It just kind of satisfies something that we've wanted to see for a long time on this game. Even though the timing is bad, it satisfies the play to upgrade on a massive level with really good upgrades and 
the cards on the market, that's the craziest thing. Going and buying a card and then upgrading it for an untradeable version that you get to keep. That's just a totally new concept that we have not seen ever before in FIFA. And I think people really like it. I've started to do it. I mean, I'm going to be doing it some this week. Maybe not a ton, but at least a little bit to get a few of the, the grind done and just to at least try out a few of these cool cards. I love the fact, again, I don't want to belabor the point we've mentioned a few times, but I love the fact that some of these guys are only five games or six games, right? Because... They are nice cards, especially if you don't have a ton of time to grind. And, it, you know, you go play five games with three Argentinian players. You can combine a couple of these. And then you've got two 93 rated fodder cards. Like, why not? Like, that's really easy to get as well, just from a fodder perspective uh, for upcoming SBCs. So I'm a fan of it a little bit more as we kind of, you know, go down the line in this promo. But if you're not a fan of the objective grind still, the menu grind is so great right now with that 80 plus times three SBC. Now, we need stuff to craft though, right? That's the bit of the issue right now. If you're doing the menu grind, you're like, I need SBCs to craft. You know, what icon SBC, what player pick SBC, the 93 plus, yeah, I did that. It's going to go away. The 90 plus icon pack, maybe I did that, or maybe I don't want to do that because it's the same icon pick that we've had now for like the same three weeks and it's just annoying at this stage. You know what I think we really need right now in this game to really make the menu grind impeccable? We need another top tier icon player SBC. It doesn't even have to be like a team of the year or a foot birthday. Prime Hullet, Prime Pele, Prime R9. They gave us the Prime Dino, right? Give us one of those top five icons that we have not seen as an SBC yet. As an SBC, I mean, team of the year Dino, that might be a bit too much. Like R9 Trophy Titans, probably a bit too much, right? Shapeshifters Pele, yeah, probably not going to happen. But if they gave us a Prime version of one of those at a decent cost, that would be an upgrade a uh, pack grinding scenario that would be so, so good right now in this game, especially for Pele. I feel like we we need a Pele SBC, of course, for his passing this last year in this, this calendar year of FIFA, I guess you could say. You know, it was earlier on. But, I mean, I think we need an SBC for that still, in my opinion. So, I hope that we get another one of those big icon SBCs. There's no leaks to confirm that, but that would just make this menu grind really, really great right now. Unless you still haven't done like Conte or Acuna or one of those that um, would be an SBC you could craft. Now, let's talk a little bit about today on this game as well. Hopefully, we get another upgrade pack in the form of a player pick. It's so nice when we have a pack and a player pick both available at the same time. An 82 plus player pick right now would almost feel like, what do you even use it? Like, if you were to turn in 11 or 9 rare golds into an 82 plus player pick, I still think I would just rather turn in 6 golds to get 3 back for 80 plus. Like, that's still, that's crazy, crazy value, guys, right there. So, maybe we get one of those today. I still think it's very possible that we would get some other sort of, like, 85 times 7 or an 84 times 10, some sort of upgrade pack like that. Maybe a player SBC as well today. But I wonder if they're going to go a little slower on the player SBCs this week just because... It would be a little bit more difficult to add in level up players all the time unless they're not going to give out a level up player SBC and just drop like a one off, you know, end of an era's lot time. That would be a great SBC that we could craft and um, upgrade to and, you know, upgrade our fodder into that SBC at this time. That would be amazing for a craft. Just EA giving you all sorts of ideas right here. Implement one of them and we're happy, right? But let's talk about the market a little bit today because I mentioned earlier these level up cards. We talked about it. They're in demand, right? And what did we see yesterday? We talked about in yesterday's video. These these cards are easy money. Cavani, 94,000 coins early in the morning, zoop, all the way up to 120,000 coins. What's he down to? 70K. What's he probably going to be in the morning today? Probably going to be somewhere around like 85 to 90,000 coins. I would imagine he has another spike today on Monday morning. That is a normal fluctuation that you see because the weekend league ends. People go out, they buy cards. And especially this week, people are going to go out and buy cards since the weekend league is over. And these prices have dropped off incredible amounts. Now is the time to really start to grind some of these objectives because instead of Alfonso Davies being 1.5 mil, he's now 700K. That's way more feasible for a lot of people. Even on a lower budget, you've got Enzo, who is a million coins. He's now 490,000 coins. You've got Foyth at 20K, Pacho 20K, Corona 25,000 coins, Vlahovic, Werner, like all these guys are so much more affordable than what they were, which is what we expected. But now the price that it is here, and they are, you know, they look a lot better and a lot more affordable. Now, I will say, these guys are probably still going to drop off more on the market. I would be careful. Um, even though I'm saying that KDB is a crazy price right now, he's, he might be lower by the end of the week because, again, more and more people are completing the objectives with these cards. I'm going to buy that Teemo at 518 because that is a very nice undercut. But 
Um, a lot of people are continuing to complete these objectives and these cards just become a little bit more irrelevant day by day. Um, you know, hour by hour, honestly, as people complete these objectives. So be careful once again with these cards because their prices will probably still drop off a bit more this week. But for the short term flips, the short term trades, find the ones that have the best fluctuations. Like I'm tempted to right now, if Alfonso Davies goes too much further below 700K, I might be a buyer because this is the ones that one of the ones that I would be so tempted to do if I'm not able to pack him. Uh, and have them untradeable, of course. Um, but, you know, this is a card that fluctuates a lot, and I want to watch his price for A, making a profit, and B, getting a good price if I were to go and work on that objective. I'm actually really tempted to, to start Renato. I know it's a lot of games, and it would be literally my entire coin balance, of like 6 million coins. But, man, again, I think that's part of why this promo is alluring so many people, too, is because what this promo is really starting to, like, hit on is... It's these cards, since there are not a lot of people want to grind them and it's a lot of games and you, the, the Renato, the Werner, the Davies and the KDB, especially, it's almost like, um, it's like your elite or it's kind of like a sick collector's item to have. If you hit one of these really insane cards, if you are able to go through all the games and get it done, it kind of hits on like the collectability um, of these cards and less more so of like, are they all overpowered and crazy? But it's more like, wow. You got the KDB? Wow, you're sick. You're insane, bro, right? Or some people could spin that and say, bro, you have no life, <laughs> you know? But to each their own. If you have time to play FIFA at this stage and you want to do it, then freaking do it. But, you know, those are the memes and the banter that kind of go around with that. But I think that's part of, like, the, the mindset that is making people want to grind this promo right now on this game. Um, and that's why you're seeing the price swings, and that's why you're seeing those games played, those numbers go up, because people are actually playing it. Now... With content, one last thing today I want to talk about is fodder. The low tier, not moving at all. But look, we got more packs yesterday. Those 84 plus, 85 plus uh, packs available from Savernier. A lot of people are doing that. And that supplies a lot of that low tier fodder. 83s, they're lower. 84s, they're lower. We need we would need something like an 85 times whatever. Maybe 85 times 10. I doubt it's, it's probably way too early for an 85 times 10. We did have an 84 times 10. Um, but that 85 10, I think EA's got, you know, a couple weeks still before they would start promoting that and putting that SBC out. Uh, but fodder on the middle to high tier probably rises some more guys this week because the demand is still there because there's a lot of SBCs, a lot of crafting, but the supply is not there. Weekend league rewards are over. The packs that are in the store are all untradeable. So it's not like people are just going and getting tradable packs every single place they go right now in this game. So it's a lot of just people have to go buy cards off of the market. Tots cards continue to watch those because those could go up in price as long as EA, um, you know, doesn't do anything crazy with the TOTS supply. It's supply. They're supplied every day, tradable still. But I think less and less people are doing this TOTS moments upgrade and TOTS upgrade every day uh, because they're using their fodder in other places. So, you know, just continue to keep a watch on the fodder market there as prices should go up a little bit during the week this week. And we'll see what this week brings. Because again, like I said, I'm interested to see if we get player SBCs. I'm interested to see what this week of content looks like because it's technically like an objective-based promo. Will EA keep the menus rolling as well? We've started off the weekend and this week pretty well. Hopefully, they keep it going. So, that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys in the Twitch stream today. We'll be grinding through a few of the games, watching the market, trading with these cards, and opening some packs, man. I'm going to grind through. If I hit a big boy, a KDB, Davies, Renato, Werner, we're going to have to go grind some games, man. And that's kind of the fun, I guess, of this promo is if you like get blessed with a big pack pull, then you're like, all right, I got to go grind for the upgraded version. It's going to be a fun week, I think. We'll see. And uh, I will see you guys in a video or the stream tomorrow. It's been Nathan Food Account. See you guys there. Peace out.